Several years ago, I had one of my stepbrothers complaining that the reason why he didn't have sufficient success in life was that our father did not help him. That may be true, but I had a concern and that is, he was more than 30 years. The problem with pointing fingers to who makes you unsuccessful when you're 30 is that, well, you can do something about it and you should. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you the three important changes I think you should make in your life before age 30. If you're between the ages of 15 and 40, this channel was specially created for you. So, don't forget to subscribe. Stop thinking anyone owes you anything. In my country, if you go to the street to meet a hundred young people and ask them why they are not getting ahead in life, I can accurately predict the three common answers you'll get. The government is bad, the country is poor, or my parents didn't help me. This is called entitlement mentality and no one has ever become successful with such a mindset. Let's face it, nobody owes you anything. Yes, your parents had sex to invite you to the world and yes, the government collects taxes from you and yes, someone else seems to owe you something. But if you depend and wait for all these people you think should be responsible for your life, you'll be disappointed. The reason for that is simple. Nobody understands your pains. People may love you but they don't understand your life because they have their own lives. As you grow up in life, you have to think and live like animals and this is what I mean by that. Look at the birds, the dog, the fish or any other animal out there. They only depend on their parents for a few days, after which they are on their own. It is only humans that depend on other humans for two decades and even after those two decades, most of us still want someone to pamper us. You'll do best with your life if you do the opposite of what everyone does. When I was around 18, I realized that regardless of whoever I thought owes me anything, nobody is going to help my life except I do. Three years after, I announced to my brother that I wanted to stop taking any money from my parents. Yes, my parents loved me and might have loved to be of help to me till I'm 40 but I know that will destroy my life. Yes, it is easy for us to look at other people and point fingers at them for whatever is wrong with our lives but it is a waste of time. Yes, it is difficult to take the blame for your predicament but that's the only way that leads to success and greatness. As you are growing up in life, stop thinking that anyone owes you anything because even if they do owe you, they won't pay you. Stop thinking in terms of fun, fun, fun. When I was in high school, I hated most things about school because the whole thing is too formal and theoretical but there was one other thing I hated and that was I was not free. I had to go to school whether I loved it or not and I had to attend every class, even that of the teachers I didn't like. To add salt to my injury, teachers in my school were allowed to beat students. I mean terribly if need be. How I hope to become an adult get out of high school and live a free life. That same day, we left high school and celebrated our freedom with a party. We got to the new world, the world where you're free. In the polytechnic where I got admission, well, you're completely free to choose the class you want to attend and do most things as you like. Most of us were young adults and for most people, it's about the fun, party and some additional fun. But it became clear to me that true freedom is in voluntary captivity. While you need the freedom to be happy, true freedom is in voluntary restrictions. Though as an adult you have the freedom to do whatever you like, such freedom will only make your life worse if you don't chain yourself. Like most people, you're likely to become an adult with great excitement. You're likely to fall in love with your new freedom and get engrossed with a million fun things all around you. But the truth is that Fun, fun and fun is for the fools. The truly wise one dare and do difficult things even if nobody asks them to do it. Yes, a part of life is fun but the larger part of life is tough and you'll do well if you embrace reality by giving yourself some restrictions. The greatest fun you can have in your life is to have fun doing what matters to your long-term goals. Any fun that makes someone else rich is likely making you poorer. Life is about tough decisions, difficult actions and a little fun. When life becomes fun, fun and fun, 
then you're heading for failure. Stop looking for a shortcut. When you're young, it's easy to believe that things can happen very fast. After all, you can send an instant message to someone in another state or country. You can press a few buttons to withdraw money from an ATM and you can order something on an e-commerce site and get it within hours. Some of us who are older know that things take time, an unbelievable amount of time. It takes time to build a career. It takes time to acquire skills. It takes time to build a business. It takes time to do or achieve anything significant. Don't be fooled into thinking that you can achieve anything at the speed of light. As you grow up, you have to start becoming more patient and enduring. You don't stop pursuing your goals because you fail. You don't accept the criticism of others who think you're not moving fast and you don't envy other people who seem to be succeeding through shortcuts. For instance, some times ago, a friend told me about cryptocurrency and how everyone is making a lot of money with Bitcoin. At this time, I was building my own company, though without much success. While it's tempting to join the next big thing, I know from studies that such shiny objects never last, so I resisted the temptation to buy crypto and instead focused on building the business I understood. Please note that I am not attacking cryptocurrency here, but I'm giving you an example. Slow and steady always wins the game. Running after the next shiny object will not only distract you, it will make you poorer because those shiny objects are not usually as shiny as they seem. Let me give you another example. Forex trading. A few weeks ago, someone asked me what I think about Forex trading because he hates his job and he has been told that he can make a lot of money through Forex. My opinion is always the same. Can you waste the next year studying and learning plus making mistakes? That's where the problem lies. When people run after shiny objects, oftentimes they don't know that it takes a crazy amount of learning, mistakes and failures to make money on those objects. The problem comes because these people simply think that if they can do it in a week or a month, they can start making money. That's never true. Yes, someone can tell you that some people make hundreds of thousands of dollars on their blog. That is true, but these people have spent three to five years of concentrated efforts, learning, making mistakes and failing before they get those results. Someone can tell you that some people make $50,000 every month on Forex or a crypto. But what they don't tell you is that all of these people have invested 20 to 50,000 hours learning, making mistakes and failing. As you grow up, you'll do yourself a favor if you stop pursuing shortcuts because oftentimes shortcuts simply lead you to failures. Stop thinking anyone owes you anything because even if they do, they might not give you. Stop thinking in terms of fun, fun and fun. Dream big dreams and dare difficult things. Stop looking for a shortcut. Be patient and enduring. Accept the ugly reality that things take time and be willing to sacrifice time and effort. If you like this video, then watch other videos from our channel.